Hey, uh, we're here in beautiful St. George's Anchorage, Grenada. Uh, we're going to take a look around this really nice 2005 Fontaine Peugeot Le Vezzi 40. It's an owner's version boat, three cabins, really well cared for and in great shape. Let's go check it out. LT Sailing School and Yacht, and Yacht Brokerage. We'll teach you to sail and then help you find the boat of your dreams. Okay, starting out here in the back, we have a nice davit system. Life raft is also stored here. Uh, the boat is Canadian registered. The hailing port is Vancouver Island. And going forward, uh, the boat has a nice solar installation with 555 watts of solar on tiltable mounts. You can see uh, the boat has a soft bimini top but there is a hard section in the center which allows uh, easy access to the boom and sail cover, lets you get up there and take care of business if you need to. The boat has a SSB radio whip antenna there at the back. It's equipped with a single sideband radio as well as standard VHF radio. The trampolines are in okay condition. Uh, they, however, they are being replaced with uh, new ones by the owner. They've already actually already got those ordered that are on the way. Sales were new in October 2019. They're in really nice condition. I opened up the sail bag earlier to check out the full batten mainsail. It's uh, really nice and crispy. It's in great shape. Roller furling Genoa was also new in, two, in uh, October 2019. The owners are only the second owners of the boat. The boat's never been in, in charter, also never been in a named storm. The owners have always hauled out in Trinidad during hurricane season. The boat's been really well cared for. The boat is equipped with a new rock to anchor on 220 feet of chain. Uh, we're at anchor right now, so you can't see it, but uh, it's down there, trust me. The rock to anchor was new in December 2019. You can see there's a boom brake on there at the end of the boom. Uh, that works as a jive preventer when sailing downwind. Also, a wind generator back there is an Air 40 Marine, which produces 400 watts of electricity to help charge the boat's electrical system. There's our solar panels again on tiltable mounts we mentioned earlier. We've got a nice open cockpit layout, great social area to hang out with uh, friends and, and family. Plenty of storage. There's a barbecue mounted on the aft rail there. We can see here there's a manual bilge pump and a deck shower here at the stern. Also connections for a hose there, which can be used as a deck wash down. Everything's in really good shape. Uh, this boat's beautiful. She's ready to go sailing. Looks great. While we're here at the helm before we go inside, just wanted to mention the engine hours. We've got a uh, port engine is at 4,215.6 and starboard is a 4,579.8 like most of the engines of this vintage, uh, they, the engine counters have failed, but the owners installed uh, our counters on the engine, so we have that available. We know, what the, we know what the original ones were when they failed, and we've got the new ones counting since then, so pretty, pretty good uh, records on that. Okay, stepping inside, really nice saloon area here. All of our electrical panels, radios over here. And nice galley area over here. For cold storage, uh, we've got both the uh, the refrigerator here, and then down below on uh, port side forward, we actually have a top loading freezer down there. We'll take a look at that uh, when we get down there. All right, really nice, tidy little boat. Let's go take a look below. All right, just uh, really quick, one of the features you want to see here, we've got a remote control right there for the anchor windlass, so uh, when it's time to drop anchor or pick it up, you can just pass that control through the forward window, and uh, somebody can stand up forward there and watch the anchor come up uh, while they're bringing it up. Really nice setup, great way to do it. All right, we're gonna take a look down here on the owner's side. Just a few steps down here. Really nice queen-size bunk right here. 
lots of storage. Over here we've got uh, two cupboards that are shelves, and then those back two over there are uh, hanging lockers, so that's really nice. Nice little settee set up here. All right, just taking a look here at the forward head on the owner's side. Uh, it's got a separate shower. There is a nice little storage locker there. Sink with the mirror, storage forward, and uh, manual flush heads all the way around on this boat. Nice setup. All right, just taking a look back, coming back this way. A um, little nice storage area there for electronics and radios, that sort of thing. One thing I didn't mention, uh, this boat's actually equipped with three different AC units. And so uh, there's one for uh, starboard hull, one for port hull, and one for the main saloon area. Um, so that's nice. Coming up uh, out of the companionway here, or up the companionway, we've got, looks like our AC breakers there, and the uh, uh, inverter controls, all that are right there. All right, just uh, stepping up here, coming up the companionway. We can see right there at the base of that settee uh, is the water maker controls. It's got an Ecotec water maker, uh, and it's rated at, I think it's uh, 15 to 18 gallons per hour on that. Uh, really nice setup. All right, taking a look down here on the port side, we'll head aft. And we can see here, we've got a head. One head on this side for the two cabins to share. Nice setup. It's a wet head on this side, so um, you know, showering on the back or showering on the other side, or this one uh, will work as well. Another uh, queen berth here in the back. Nice setup. Plenty of storage. Nice little area here. Good light, good air. Nice, nice flow. All right. And then let's take a look up forward. A little bit smaller bunk on this side. Um, still good storage. They're using this kind of as a little pantry area here. And then also underneath here is, if we lift this up, <laughs> if we lift this up, underneath here is uh, where we find the, the uh, top loading freezer. So really nice to have that extra cold storage and uh, be able to keep stuff frozen. Uh, great for making longer passages and just for living at anchor even. All right, you guys, that wraps up our walkthrough on this boat. Uh, really nice looking boat. If you have any other questions about this boat, feel free to reach out. Uh, be happy to answer anything I can. Also, uh, we'll have a link to the listing with all full specs on it in the comments just below. So take a look for that. Let me know if you have any questions. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you have, want to see more great content like this, uh, check us out and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bean wins.